In the previous video, we spoke about the sign-in flow. In this one, we'll talk about the session management flow. Just like before, we have the three components for super tokens, the front-end SDK, the back-end SDK, and the core. After the sign-in flow is complete, the core issues access and refresh tokens for the user to the back-end SDK. The back-end SDK sends these as cookies to the front-end. The browser manages cookies on its own. When an API call is made, the browser attaches the access token to the request. Using the verify session function, you can verify the access token. And if the access token is valid, we give you a session object containing information about who's logged in. So you can get the user ID information, you can get the access token payload, or even update it or revoke the session, amongst other things. In case the access token is expired or is missing, the verification of session will fail and this will result in a 401 being sent to the front end. This is where the refresh flow kicks in. And this is handled by a front end SDK automatically. In the refresh flow, the front end SDK calls the refresh API on the back end SDK with the refresh token. The refresh token is passed on to the super token score, which verifies it. If verification is successful, the core generates new access tokens and new refresh tokens and sends it to the backend SDK. The backend SDK then sends these to the front end as cookies, just like before. And the original like comment API is called once again with the new access token. And this way the session flow continues. And this is how session refreshing and session management works with super tokens.